Today I'm going to make chicken fajitas in the Instant Pot. I have two frozen chicken breasts here that I cut into strips before I froze them. And I'm going to add a half cup of water and a half cup of Rotel tomatoes. And I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of taco seasoning. And I'm going to dump in one bag of three color peppers and onion strips. And then all I have to do is put the top on the pot like this and push manual and set it for 15 minutes. Make sure that this gizmo is to the back, that way your steam can't get out. And it's going to go from 15 minutes, it's going to say on. There you go. And then when it reaches pressure, it'll say 15 minutes and it'll count down for 15 minutes. For this particular recipe, once it's all done, all I have to do is quick release the steam. I'm just going to turn the vent the other way and let the steam out, which I do like this. Because you're going to have to go back in and break the chicken strips apart. And then once the chicken strips are broken apart, you're going to have to just put the top back on and make sure the valve is in the is in the sealed position and set it for another six minutes. And then when that six minutes is up, you take off your you release your pressure again, you take off your lid, and we'll see what they look like. So this is what we have after the second time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the chicken out and I'm going to shred it. And while it shreds, I'm going to put the pot on saute. Okay, that's what she looks like after I put in my, um, or after I cut up my chicken. And then I put it back in there. You'll notice that the, the tricolor peppers are a little soft. Um, I have tried this same recipe by adding the tricolor peppers in at, instead of at the start, when after I break the chicken up and put them in for the, for the second round of pressure. Uh, I put the tricolor peppers in then, and they do come up a little bit crisper. So you can try that if you want to. Again, wishing we had smell-o-vision. Enjoy.